hi guys so as I said today I'm painting without drawing now I've mentioned this before what you're looking at instead of trying to paint a face or body look at the angles look at the lines follow the lines you're seeing if you're seeing a circle if you're seeing a, a, a right angle if you're seeing a straight line are you seeing a curve is the curve slanted when you do that then there's no need to actually draw the piece of uh, or the, the artwork um, now sketching painting like this sorry is takes practice so you you as an artist you're supposed to be drawing every day and the more you draw the better you become and as you draw more then doing this is a lot easier because again you're, you're looking at angles you're looking at shapes you're looking at um, curves so that when it's time to paint your paintbrush becomes your pencil so in me painting this Indian woman with the sari I'm looking at the shapes that I see I'm looking at the angles um, you do it in a base color first and today I'm using small tubes of Winslow Newton imagine that yeah because um, they're kind of fun to use and they're small and I can use all the different colors so yes you just look at where you think there needs to be some shades so that where the fabric has been crunched or is wavy you just follow what you see based on the lines or the angles not trying to copy what you're seeing or copy or, or to paint exactly because this is a painting I'm doing from a picture right um, so yeah so when you take a photo of whatever it is you want to paint um, it will probably be black and white because it's a copy and then you can put the colors you see fit but again like I said you're not trying to draw what you see you're looking at the angles and shapes it's just like in my one of my um, videos I said turn the picture upside down and you will see how you, you see shapes instead of up an item so for the rest of this painting you know, I won't be saying much just look at where I'm putting the paint in the different colors for shading for the to make areas darker so that things stand out and you can understand that it's fabric or it's a piece of cloth etc so sorry guys my camera died yes I know that's what happens when you're using an iPhone, a phone, an Android phone to do your filming. So, so I had to, but I continued painting while I was waiting for it to, to get rid of some of the excess files, etc. So again, I'm continuing to follow the picture that I have. Um, again, looking at lines, angles, shapes to draw what I, or to paint what I need to paint. Notice I'm not drawing anything. I'm using my paintbrush to do the drawing for me. And if you're unsure about something, use the, a light color paint because you could always wash that away because this is on canvas. So you can take a, a wet paintbrush and, and rub off everything, or even put gouache on a gouache. Um, not gouache, God, totally forget the name of the thing you can put now. <sighs> Age. Yes, so you can um, wash it off, wipe it off, and start over if you find it's not looking, if it's not drawn properly with the paintbrush yeah so just continue to see what i'm doing i see like right there i'm i'm washing off the uh, the areas that i didn't like with a clean brush just in water So 
So most of this is trying to get the wheels of the bicycle done properly. Um, so I'll leave you for now and you can watch the rest of this as I paint the, the bicycle um, and then coming on to the end I'll say a few words but um, and the colors are the general colors yellow um, black viridian green um, yellow ochre that's a brown can't remember the name of the brown I even use some alizarin crimson you can play with whatever colors you want. Coming to the final lag, and this is what the end piece looks like. I hope you enjoy this, and see you next time in one of my other videos. This is Gail Francis Gaffra. Bye bye.